Hi, and welcome back to The Unmeasured Chef. All right, guys, it's time to spin the globe. Let's go. United States. United States. All right. All right, guys, we're back. So what do we get? The United States of America. All right. So we're going to recreate a dish that used to be made in my childhood every Friday because we grew up in a Catholic household. So we're going to do fried fish, fried potatoes, fried cabbage, and baked beans. Y'all ready? Yes. All right. Ready, set, let's go. You will need the ingredients shown. All right, to start off, we're gonna season our fish. Start off with some salt. And some pepper. Then some garlic. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough, Jacqueline. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and miss one. Cayenne pepper. Jesus. All right. Now we're gonna flip the fish over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I've already started chopping up my cabbage clean cut in half and I'm starting to chop it up. Shout outs to my brother B for this amazing knife and cutting board. So we're just gonna chop up the cabbage. You can make it as big or as small as you like, depending on the size will depend on how fast it cooks. Next we're gonna cut up our onions. So I use two large onions because I love onions. It's up to you whether you want to do one or two. Then we're going to add it to the already chopped cabbage. Now that we have the cabbage and the onions chopped up, we're gonna season it with garlic, salt, and pepper. Now that we've got the cabbage and onion seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic, we're gonna give it a good toss. On a medium high heat, add some vegetable oil to your pan. After you test your oil to make sure that it's hot, it's time to put in the cabbage. Depending on how much cabbage you have, I usually drizzle a little bit more oil on the top just to make sure that everything has a little bit of oil in it so when it fries, it fries evenly. You add a little bit of water so that your cabbage will steam a little. I think you use a little bit more. So there's different ways that you can make this cabbage. You can use good old bacon grease and fry it up. Um, you can use the oil, vegetable oil, like I've been using, canola oil, different peanut oil, coconut oil, any kind of oil that you wanna use. Um, because this is gonna be something that my husband and I eat, um, I usually add a bouillon to it. Beef, chicken, bouillon, just give it a little bit of flavor. But since we're eating it, I'm using a cilantro tomato packet of seasoning. And this will give it a different flavor as well. Now we're going to start working on the potatoes. So we're going to slice them and then I'm going to put them in salt water 
so that they don't turn brown by the time I finish slicing up the last one. The thickness of the potato will depend on how fast or how slow it cooks. So mine are about that thin. As you can see, the cabbage is frying up nicely. So you'll know your cabbage is done, or almost done, when the color changes to a brown. Now you may find some dark pieces, and that's usually because of the onion hit the bottom of the pan, so they cook faster than the cabbage. This is almost ready. All right, this fried cabbage is ready. For the potatoes, now that they're soaked, we're gonna just chop up two onions. All right, now for the potatoes, we're gonna put some vegetable oil in the pan. And let that heat up. It's popping. It's time for the potatoes. Now the onions. And now it's time to season it up. Now another way you can do this is season it all up in a big bowl before you put it in your pan. It's totally up to you. Decided to do it this way. After all the ingredients, all the seasonings that you like to season the potatoes with are in, give it one good toss and let it cook. I cover it, turn it down to a medium low heat and just let it saute for a little while and then I'll turn it back up to a hot heat when I'm ready to fry it. All right, this has been cooking for about 15 minutes, covered. All the potatoes are tender, falling apart. So now it's time to fry it up and turn it off. All right, for the fish, I add cornstarch. Some people use flour and all the things. I use cornstarch. Just gives it that crisp taste without the thick crust. It's a thin layer of it on the fish. And it's ready to fry. Now it's time to fry the fish. My fish is ready now, so I'm gonna remove it from the oil and let it drain on a paper towel.
For the baked beans, literally all I did was open the can, pour it into the pot, add some onions, a little salt and pepper. Um, sometimes people add a little brown sugar, cook it up on the stove, maybe some green peppers and onions. I didn't do all that. I just did the can, the onions, salt and pepper. I didn't even put any garlic in it. How about that? And there you go. Put it on the stove, heat it up until the um, onions are um, clear and cooked. And that's it. You're re it's ready to go. And there you have it. Our fried fish American meal. Fried fish, fried cabbage, fried potatoes, and baked beans. And as we say, why use a book when you can cook? Unmeasured, that is. Until next time, bye-bye.